We have mentioned the My Kindle area on Amazon.com a few times already now. Time to have a closer look at how you can manage your content and devices to be most productive. You find it either by entering Amazon.com slash MYK in the browser or from the account menu at your content and devices. If you use the Kindle in a country other than the US, log into your local Amazon website and add slash MYK to the URL. The four major sections here are content, devices, preferences, and privacy settings. Let's look at the content section first. Here you will find some very valuable functions that your Kindle device or apps don't offer. In case you have privacy critical content that you want to get rid of, here's your solution. You can permanently remove content from your library. It will be deleted from your devices and will not show up anywhere anymore. You can also clear the information about the furthest page read. Let's say in case you read 75% of your textbook, but you want to go back to 25% to read it again. Under devices, you have an overview of all your e-readers, iOS and Android devices that have the Kindle app installed. Here you have to turn if you want to give away your Kindle to somebody else and make sure the person will be able to connect the e-reader with his or her account. If you deregister the device and then reset it to factory defaults, you can make sure it is free from your content and any sort of data. For more personalization, you can also edit and customize the email address of the Kindle if you like. Let's look at the preferences section. What we haven't looked at yet is the possibility to create a family library with your account. As there are different options for managing your family account, for example, make sure you're in control of your teen spendings on Amazon. One is the possibility to share your digital content with one other person. This is really interesting if you want to share your library with your partner one of your kids or a friend with an Amazon account. Here you can set up your preferences.